What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Flicking on My Big Hair, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. Welcome, y'all. How was your early morning? I'm talking to Capricorns today. Let me just go ahead and get that out. So I know a lot of times my Capricorns, they, they, they work, work, work. But I admire that about you guys a whole lot, you know. So tonight is about Capricorn. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and get everything out of the way. Um, Capricorn, I had season two of my podcast on hold, okay? Season two was all about you. It was not you particularly, but it was all about me doing interviews with people in the community, whether it was entrepreneurs or artists or whoever and I would just interview them and I actually had the pleasure of um interviewing the first two people that I did shout out to AJ Shaka and D Money I had the pleasure of interviewing those two artists those two gentlemen and both of them were Capricorns and it's so crazy because I'm like they're very, very dope energies. You know what I'm saying? So um, so what ended up happening was I had put all of the interviews on hold because Corona had hit. And so that was on hold. And then I picked up Tarot Reading. Well, I had already been doing Tarot Reading. I just didn't have it exposed. So um, I didn't want to not work on this because this is a, a true passion aka being my podcast so I just decided I was going to collaborate the two that way I can still do both and you know get my seasons out the way and not leave my people waiting in case they want to hear what I have to say so yes and now um I've gotten through majority of the signs you all are number seven Yes, and that just happens to be my life path. So a lot, I got, I picked up a lot of energy from Capricorns tonight, really because I was opening up my book right here, y'all. This is my my spiritual book. Like, like there's so much in here, so much information in here, and so when I had opened it, this fell out. This should be y'all thumbnail. Hold on. Let me take a picture. <laughs> but yes, this fell out. And I'll tell you all about this in a whole second. Hold on. Let me take a picture. Damn, I look muscular. Like, let me do it from this angle. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. Hold on. No, I don't like that. Y'all, give me a second. And I'm not even playing. Like. <laughs> Y'all go and see me. Follow me on Instagram, Desi DC, or flicking on my big. Like, I really want that. Hold on, y'all. Like, hold on. I just, I feel like I just had it. Hold on. Y'all heard that? <laughs> Let's take it a picture. Okay, this is gonna be my thumbnail. So anyway, so about this, um, I went to, I had the opportunity of going to Beverly Hills, California. And I went out to lunch with a friend of mine. And this is where we went. But I was in California and the person I was with was a Capricorn. So, and they love to eat, I will say. I love to eat too. I'm Taurus rising. I love to eat. But this came out too, you know. And so Capricornish energies, like I love Capricorn people. 
Like I've had my situations with them, but I also genuinely love Capricorn people. And so we're going to be doing a little reading on y'all, see where y'all energy is right now. I'm also towards the end going to be reading an excerpt from this book here. It's called In Focus Astrology, Your Personal Guide. And it's by a young lady named Sasha Fenton. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just going to give us some energy on 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 you and the person that you are or you know might be certain traits habits whatever okay so this will be a general reading it won't apply to every single capricorn please understand that um if you're a cross watcher anybody outside of a capricorn capricorn energy then you can join in, tune in, okay? Please utilize this information for the most positive purpose, as you all know. And yeah, like Spirit wants me to talk to y'all. So I'm going to be talking to you guys with four different tarot decks, okay? First, we have the Romance Angel, which will give us some guidance on love, if there is any. Mm-hmm. We got the light sears, and like I be saying, I love this tarot deck because the illustration uh, is just phenomenal. Like I, I just love the energy that comes from this light sears deck, and it's by Chris Ann. Chris Ann, and this is the romance angel deck by uh, Doreen Virtue. And I don't remember Lisa Sterl. That's her name. Yes, Lisa Sterl. The Modern Witch Tarot deck. Like, I absolutely love this. This is my favorite deck. This illustration-wise, I think, is a lot more bold. But the illustration on this is still absolutely amazing. And I'm just kind of like, uh. And then we have the Moonology Oracle card deck by Yasmin Bolin. And I actually... Uh, uh, <sighs> yes okay and like these are very very popular decks to be quite honest like when i do my reading it's just like being picky with anything else you picky with your shoes you be i'm picky with my cards so like i want my energy to just be straightforward and honest and i think this is the best way this is the best way like i feel like you know what's that dude from um Mortal Kombat, and he just the electric guy. Dang, what is his name? Ray, uh, Reagan, not Reagan. Um, what is that man name? I'm about to be. I'm. Be, I'm about to be so upset. What's his name? It's not Reagan. It's a uh, Raven. Rogue? No. What is the dude name from um? The electric guy from Mortal Kombat. Raiden. That is his name. Raiden. Like, when I be reading these cards, I be feeling like Raiden. Okay? Like, I be having all of the energy. And I definitely be knowing what's going on. And I've done reading for a lot of people. And I've been pretty spot on accurate, at least from... The interpretation that I've been getting, you know, and from the just the emotional attachment that I get from my readings, I really feel like people can feel the energy because nobody has said that it hasn't been close to what they've been feeling or something that they've gone through. And I did have one situation where I said it and they were like, no, that didn't happen. And then it happened. So while we were talking about it, it hadn't come into the experience, but then after the fact, it actually did happen. And so I was just kind of like, oh my God, you know? So it must have some truth to it if it's being expressed. You know what I'm saying? I was spiritually guided. Spiritual guidance trumps any type of religion, any of that. So I've been led here to give this message to whoever it needs to be led to. So yes, I'm definitely gonna be reading from these communicators, you know, 
And I'm gonna pull three of these. I usually pull three of these to start our quests, our journey together, okay? I usually pull three of these, so we'll go ahead and see. Uh, Capricorn, what is your energy? Like, what, what y'all got going on? And y'all are like right next to us as Aquarius. So there are certain energies that you all have, certain habits and characteristics that you all have that we definitely share. Just like you have some people that really like to eat and then you have some people that aren't really like don't really show too much attention to eating but you know what i'm saying i don't know if that was a good example or not but look at the bigger picture so you might need to look at the bigger picture of whatever and that's common sense a personal issue reaches resolution so you're coming to you're coming to the end of a thought process the answers you need are coming. So maybe you'll get the answer in this reading. How about that? Let's just meditate and and hope that coming here got you that answer that you were that you were looking for, maybe. And even if nobody ever even saw this, like somebody is going to see it and it's for somebody. So that's just what that is, regardless of how many people somebody is going to see this and hey so we're gonna pull a romance card just in case this has to do with love it could be financial you know i know that capricorns are very much that financial beings money you all that's just you all staying you all attracted i can be honest with you i don't know one capricorn that don't have no money and when i say and when i say have money i mean more than what the average person is holding at this current moment like everybody you got majority people might not even have a hundred dollars in their pocket but you probably got about two thousand you know what I'm saying? Compared, if, if the average person is walking around, and I'm not even going to say 2,000, like, it just, just that equivalency, if that makes any sense, that's a large gap, you know, if, you know, the average person is walking around with $500, you best bet the Capricorn has at least 10,000 saved, untouched, like, to just at, off the break, 10,000 when the average person might have about $500. You know what I'm saying? Something drastic like that. So I just feel like you all are possibly holding more money than what most people are holding. You know what I'm saying? And potentially keeping that. So that's what I mean. Like breadwinners, you all are naturally built to be in the financial aspect, just like you know what I'm saying? Virgos are meant to be the teachers of the Zodiac. So in some form, they're teachers. You all are meant to do the financial aspect. You can balance money. You can count money. You can stock money. You know what I'm saying? You always find ways of making money. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So your self-respect do you respect yourself ask yourself that question i don't know where that came from it literally i just i just said it just do you respect yourself and think about what respect is matter of fact why don't you do yourself a favor and look up the word respect look up the um etymological the um meaning the et the etymological meaning of the word break it down see where it came from where it originated from you know, just get outside of regular means of thinking. Do something a little bit different and just look up the meaning of what respect means and apply it to yourself, you know, in your spare time. Because when you understand the meaning of something, then you can better apply it to your experience or your situation. At least that's how I feel. 
you know, I be getting deep with shit. So, like, I get I get really really deep. Like spiritually, I get really really deep. And so, I just want you all to kind of, uh, you know, know that going into this because I feel like I'm not gonna take that. I feel like. Um, Capricorn people, you all are also the more serious, the more emotionally disciplined, in a sense. You're the more, it's just like, you're you're that grandmother that always kept the kids in line. You know, as a zodiac sign, Capricorn, you all are the more disciplinarian, much like Scorpio, I feel like. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Capricorn and Scorpio is an odd couple, but... Anyway, I'm just saying, like, you're the more disciplinary, you're the more parental, what, what, what you would consider a good parental figure, like, you're just the more disciplined out of the Zodiac, you're the type of people that, you know, hey, go sit down, do your homework, afterwards, go brush your teeth, wash your face, take a shower, okay, get your clothes out for tomorrow, you know, make sure your clothes are ironed, make sure you eat a good breakfast, do you have enough money? Look at that. Do you have enough money for school? You know, um, let me take you to school. Let me let me do this. Let me do that. You know, just discipline and you're traditional, you know, in your ways. So you like to have things a certain way and you want that repeated. So, you know, like I said, just try something new. First off, we have the seven of swords. Ooh, the Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So either you or somebody you're dealing with was making a is making a plan to leave. Maybe that's what looking at the bigger picture is. It looks like you're planning on you're planning on leaving a higher level of commitment type of relationship cuz with this 5 of pentacles in reverse it's like isolation you know isolation from something or getting away from something being it's just like being alone you know or maybe keeping your keeping i don't necessarily want to say keeping your money to yourself but keeping like your values to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this person isn't expressing the type of values that you would, but I feel like this is more of like isolation. And with the seven of swords here, it's just kind of like, okay, I'm just making a plan to just cut this off. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how to cut this off and you're possibly isolating yourself. It says the answers you need are coming. So maybe the answer is isolation. Maybe you need to, you know, maybe you need to cut this relationship off. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you need to cut this relationship off. And it says a personal issue reaches a resolution. So maybe this is, I feel like something and may, maybe this is something that you've been dealing with and you're just like, I'm tired of dealing with it, you know? It's just like, maybe, I feel like there's some type of plan to get out of something. And that's crazy because I got the same kind of reading with Libra. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra, Capricorn and Libra. That is a cute, but that to me is like a cute little couple. Capricorn and Libra, like, you know, that's a cute little couple to me, but it's different. To me, it's odd. Hmm, Capricorn and Libra. I don't know why that couple just makes me... That would be a really, like, sexy couple to me, I feel like. Capricorn and Libra. I don't know. Hmm, maybe you messing with a Libra. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe you got to cut it off with a Libra. Yeah, maybe you need to cut it off with a Libra. And this, and this seven of swords is kind of thick, like the chick on a card, a thick black chick. If you watching this, go on my, go on my uh, Instagram 
Desi DC or uh, Flicking on My Bick or uh, uh, my YouTube, Desiree AC, where this is going to be, go on there and see this. And so y'all can kind of, and you know what I see? I see like whoever you dealing with might be thick, a thick, strong woman, possibly with natural hair or no, not natural hair, but maybe she wear a weave i feel like she wears weave but it looks like it could pass as natural hair maybe but she thick you know dresses real cute hmm you know what i'm saying thick dress real cute and it just look like maybe you need to cut cut that off <laughs> maybe you need to cut that joint off Okay, because it's like you done cut the love off, and this is you done cut maybe, maybe this person you had a very higher level of commitment with. Maybe this was your main joint. I'm feeling like, man, I listen, I know how Capricorns are, I know the energy very, 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 very well. I, I'm an Aquarius first, I'm a Virgo second. Okay, I don't miss a beat on nothing, and I literally like like I train myself to do certain things and genetically and spiritually and in any type of elite you want to think like I was I was literally built to do this so there are certain things that I pick up on and me I'm one of them type of people that I pick up on stuff that most people don't pick up on you know what I'm saying so to me I can also pick up on what most people are picking up on is which is obvious but then I can also pick up on you know why everybody is looking at the outfit I'm looking at the tea you know what I'm saying when when everybody looking at the jewelry you know what I'm saying I'm listening to how they talk you know what I'm saying so it's just certain things that mannerisms that I feel like most people don't listen to is what I catch so I'm telling you this is specifically for someone like i feel like this is specifically for someone but like i said i feel like this is saying you really need to cut it off and isolate yourself and then love yourself first like that don't sound like the type of expression that you use when you in a relationship with somebody you love like we know we know naturally to love ourselves first anyway but it's more, it more seems like something you say to somebody who's not dealing with a relationship, you know, as, as opposed to that is in a relationship, like love yourself first before you really just love somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, yeah, but let's, let's see. Cause the chariot. So you're driven. And it's like, you're going towards something. You're driven to go towards something. The sun in reverse. It's like you're driven towards something or you're. it's like you're motivated to go towards something that's just bringing your energy down. Like I said, it could be, because you know something I do notice about Capricorns, they'll be in relationships that I feel like they genuinely are just like kind of tired of or ready to move on from. But because they have this strong attachment to family, it's like you all are the type of people I feel like much like Taurus. So you may be dealing with a Taurus, but I feel like you all have this energy of like Taurus, like you're going to make it work regardless. Like Taurus people are the type of people that it's like, they're going to, it don't matter what life throws at them. They're going to try to beat, beat it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Where some people might give up Taurus, they don't give a fuck. Like they'll just, and even if they wrong, they still don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're going to, and, and, I, and I can appreciate the push and the drive that they have, but sometimes it's moving too fast that causes that unhappiness. 
So maybe that moving, that that chariot is like that drive, that will, like I'm going, I'm going towards it. You know what I'm saying? It's like willpower. And in this case, it's like maybe you are just too driven to you driven towards a situation that you really didn't think too much about. And see, we got this ten of wands. It's it's too much. It's too much to bear, and and it's causing you to isolate yourself. You know, it was like maybe you were super passionate in the beginning, and now it's just kind of like, you know, I gotta cut this off. You know, it's like now I gotta cut this off because it's too much. It's take. It's like it's too much of a strain. It might be too much baggage. It's like. It's just too much for me to carry right now. You know, my pinnacles are weighing in. Maybe you putting in too much money towards something. But with, to me, this is just, to me, this is kind of like a, I don't know if this is like, because I'm getting two types of people in this situation. This could be the main joint, like maybe the, the main, or maybe you're in a relationship with, with somebody of higher level commitment and you want to cut it off with them or it could be you have a main joint and you got a side piece and the side piece is the one that's causing you more of the trouble and you need to leave it alone like you need to cut it off you know what i'm saying so it could go two ways Maybe you trying to cut off the main joint or you trying to cut off the side piece because whichever one it is, it's weighing heavy on you. And I feel like with the seven of swords, it's just kind of like off the break. It's just like I'm leaving. And then I see a personal issue reaches resolution. So when you put kind of two and two together, it's like maybe you need to cut this off. So whatever it is, and it's like, I haven't seen no queen of cups, queen. I haven't seen no queens come out. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen no, no, no major arcana women, like some of the high carded women. Like I haven't seen no page, you know, I haven't seen, I haven't seen, you know, no queens come out. I ain't seen no kings come out. So to me, it's just kind of like, and that's why I said on a deeper level, this relationship kind of, hold on y'all, I got to take these socks off because this one here is like irritating my foot. But anyway, um, yeah, it just, it's just a relationship. I feel like it's a relationship. I don't really feel like it's too much money. I feel like it's more of relationship is weighing you down some uh, a relationship that maybe you had a strong urge to go towards but now it's like off the break the first car is cutting that shit off so and i know that capricorns like to save their relationships by all means necessary you know by all means necessary and see look at this seven of wands you feeling defensive? Maybe you trying to protect something. You know, maybe you trying to protect the relationship. Maybe you trying to protect the person's feelings. Maybe you trying to protect the person's energy. Or maybe you just, maybe you trying to protect yourself. Maybe you just kind of feeling like protecting yourself. Maybe you feel defensive, you know. I feel like this is your energy though. Like, this is your energy. See, the emperor in reverse. So this is somebody who I feel like you thought maybe had it together and they just didn't. And now you feel kind of like you got to protect yourself against them. I feel like you feel like I'm getting the sense of you're protecting yourself against someone. 
maybe you're protecting yourself against if you're in a one-on-one -on -one relationship maybe you're protecting yourself against them or if you in a relationship and you got the the side piece maybe you're being defensive about them maybe see the three of pentacles it's like a con it's a competition it's a competition see listen it's it's like two people it's two people it's two people it's two people it's two people three of pentacles in reverse it's a competition it's a motherfucking competition and it's like capricorn it's you and you got two people you might got a main joint and then you got a side piece and it's like you trying to you trying to cut off a relationship with one of them. I just don't know which one you trying to cut cuz it, it, it might be you could potentially be trying to cut off the side piece to stick with the main joint or in reverse you trying to cut off the main joint to stick with the side piece. But whatever it is, and see that's that's just what I don't know. That's just what I don't know. Which who is playing which role? Because it's you and it's two people. And I told you, I picked up on two people's energy earlier. It could be you either trying to cut off the main joint or you trying to cut off the side piece. And it's like you you defensive against one of them. Or you, you, you're defensive against the emperor. But you're defensive, see, you're defensive against the emperor or the person who you thought had it all but it's like, what if both of them was like that? Hold on, we, we finna get in this because I'm trying to figure it out. And see, we got the fool card. So you taking a positive risk. Maybe, maybe is you leaving the main joint? Or maybe you gonna stand strong and... Like y'all. Which one is it? Which one is it? This is crazy. But you know what? You know, Capricorns, y'all just have y'all situations. I'm just saying, like, that's what I see here. It's two people. It's two people, but one person, one person is like, it's like, it. maybe you try, maybe you're trying to cut off both is what I'm almost feeling like because up here you got the seven of swords you trying to cut off whoever this is whoever the, the higher level of commitment you trying to cut them off and isolate yourself and the person I feel like you were motivated to go towards is who gave you the most stress maybe they gave you the most stress you know maybe I feel like maybe they gave you the most stress, maybe because maybe you had a different type of attachment, I feel like, to this relationship. But it's like now you feeling defensive against the competition. It's like the competition is who you're defensive against. Cause we got the three of pentacles in reverse. That's like competition, like competitive, competitive behavior. So that means it has to have been two people. And like, if you're trying to cut off this person and isolate yourself, that means you was driven towards one that probably wasn't good for you, but you know, or, or didn't make you happy, but it, it and it was a strain. Now you defensive against the emperor, and maybe you defensive against the emperor and the competition. So maybe it's like, man, fuck both y'all. <laughs> maybe it's like, fuck both of y'all. Like, let me just get somebody motherfucking new altogether. Like, and you know what? I don't even blame you. Shit, let's get some new. Cause I tell you what. 
let's get some new because new is definitely needed especially you don't you don't be having time to go through this with people <laughs> like who don't nobody want to go through all of this like you know what i'm saying i'm not really one for polygamy like i wouldn't mind polygamy you know what i'm saying i'm kind of one of them people i'm super neutral like i could literally do both like I, i'm not one of those chicks that get super jealous in the first place and so for me it's just kind of like if we're literally building if you know a woman you know what i'm saying who got kids and it's three of them or four kids and no baby daddy and you want to take the little boys to go get their haircuts you know if they're sons you know what i'm saying hey i'm all for we need to grow our generation you know what i'm saying it's too many broken families and the thing is a lot of us be out here chilling with our friends and 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 our our best friends you know people who aren't blood related but people who are still close to us and we treat them like our own families and we're doing it anyway you know what i'm saying i think people just take the sexual aspect of it and make it more than what it is and if we go back to history history shows us that polygamy was in the african culture like it wasn't about oh just having sex i really feel like women outnumbered the men and men were literally the strength the backbone even though the woman was too you know the the men was still like the the physical you know what i'm saying backbone for the women and with women outnumbering men in a sense it's just like okay this man protects these five this man protects these five you know what i'm saying and they all have their children they all learn meditate together grow together you know but we live in a time where we can't do that because a girl if she look at my man i'm hitting her between her eyes like you know if he look at my girl i swear i'll put a bullet in his chest you know what i'm saying it's just like it's not no love with nobody you know what i'm saying it's really not but in the same token i can still go for a one-on-one -on -one relationship equally as well like as an aquarius i'm naturally detached in the first place but i long for love and in my birth chart i have a lot of capricorn i have more capricorn in my birth chart matter of fact let me show y'all because i looked it up i looked it up earlier today okay let me tell you how much capricorn i have in my chart and i have it right here okay y'all y'all already know hold on y'all already know um aquarius sun virgo moon and taurus rising so here we go you got rising taurus sun sign aquarius moon virgo now look at this mercury in capricorn venus is in pisces mars is in gemini jupiter is in leo saturn in capricorn uranus in capricorn neptune in capricorn Pluto and Scorpio, North Node and Capricorn. All of those Capricorn, all of that Capricorn energy I have. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? And just for the sake of this podcast, because it is a podcast, and I don't want to make this just a tarot reading. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all a little bit more information. I'm gonna read on the aquar the the Capricorn energy that I have and see if it relates to you. Maybe your Mercury is in Capricorn, but Capricorn, my Mercury in Capricorn says, you are a careful thinker, very cautious and conservative. You are quite skillful at organizing, directing and planning activities. Practical and useful things interest you. You are not attracted to abstract thoughts or ideas. With your tendency to be highly focused and very goal oriented, you have a good head for business, but beware of the tendency to be narrow-minded and dogmatic. Your sense of humor tends towards being earthy and slapstick crude. Now, if I was to say that to a Capricorn, they would probably deny it, but I know you all are take it to the grave people, like literally take it to the grave people, I swear. Saturn and Capricorn. And that's another thing. We also share that planet 
your 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 ruling planet is Saturn and one of my ruling planets is Saturn. So we definitely have this in common. Very serious minded, immature. You have the ability to take on responsibilities and to carry out important duties. You can also be trusted to be extremely practical and thrifty. A good organizer, you are the ideal one to be counted on to take a clearly defined project through its logical conclusion. An achiever, your pride, you pride yourself on your ability to focus your attention totally on some worthy goal and then attain it. So you work hard to get what you get. Your grind is a little bit harder than mine. I tell you what, Capricorn energy, and you all are cardinal, a cardinal energy. So it's like you all aren't easily moved. You know what I'm saying? You all don't just like, you all don't, you all give things up when you feel like it's no need for it anymore. And I got that out of my astrology book. So that's definitely, that's definitely us. Okay. Capricorn and Uranus, you and your peer group as well seek out practical solutions to a changing society's attitude to customs, traditions, and authority structures. Your logic and orderly manner of dealing with these matters will result in permanent and carefully planned but sweeping reforms. That makes a little bit of sense to me. I'm going to go back and read it again. Neptune is 15 degrees Capricorn. You and your entire generation will idealize work, practicality, and the ability to attain reasonable goals. But because you will also stress the need to be selfless and giving, you may find it difficult to attain your goals unless you have lowered your expectations on all fonts. Last one, North Node in Capricorn. You rarely get involved closely with anyone unless he or she has something specific and practical to offer you. <laughs> you tend to be all business when it comes to dealing with others. You're usually so intently focused on a particular goal that you rarely have time for social necessities or casual fellowship. But you can definitely be counted on by others to get things done. When you say that you'll do something, you do it. As such, you are a valuable member of any team situation and will probably rise to a position of leadership within the group. Your trustworthiness and your sense of responsibility are unquestioned, but do try to avoid the temptation to use others to reach your goals. They might come to resent you. Yes, and that was not even for you, Capricorns. That was the energy of you all that I portray. So this is how I am. These are the, the particular traits that I project to others. Some good, some I need to work on, you know, whatever. And so in this, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? In this, I feel like everything that you just read is Capricorn attributes. This is the characteristics, the personality traits of Capricorn people. And when you, and that's why they, I feel like that card says um, your self-respect. When you know yourself on these levels when you can acknowledge things like this as detailed as this you know on your own to me that takes a certain level of maturity to be able to do as well as to be able to project it you know what i'm saying some people can't do that you know what i'm saying some people don't really have excuse me the strength to be able to do that so I guess once you acknowledge yourself, then you'll know better how to respect yourself. You'll come to terms and understand, you know, how to respect yourself and how to better make decisions when it comes to life and, you know. So let's get to the clarifying part because this is what I'm trying. I'm trying to see who is who. Like, who are you leaving? Who is staying? Is both of y'all going? Like, 
What is going on, Capricorn? Seven of Swords. See, you making a plan and you in your head. Like you in your head, you in your head, you in your head. It's just like, what do I do? And Swords is a card of thoughts. It's a, it's a thought process. So it's anything in your head, anything you think. Does it bother you? Does it make you happy? Like it's a, it's a thought process suit. So this you're making a plan and it's in your head. It only makes sense. You know what I'm saying? If you're constantly thinking about something that you feel like you need to make a negative plan about, Seven of Swords to me is just like, when I think about that card, I think about Columbiana. I think about, not necessarily in this case, in the form of a vigilante. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's more or less the 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 theme of it, the 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 making the plan, the manipulation to you know, get this person out of my way. And like, I'm trying to make my moves, you know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, you know, every day I'm doing this or I'm saving this amount of money. Cause if I save this amount of money, then I can get out and do this. And this is going to help me to get this. So I need to make a plan. Maybe I need to do it in a way that she don't know, or he don't know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I tell you what, between the girls and the guys, both of y'all are dangerous. Both of y'all are top level dangerous. And because of that, and women are naturally stronger, the women are the, the women Capricorns. <laughs> the women Capricorns, let me tell you, are scorned. A lot of y'all, and I'm not even playing with a lot of y'all. Y'all know y'all come with dry humor so y'all can understand mine. Listen, I love y'all. But I'm gonna give it to y'all straight, like seriously. I'm a joke, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all don't be playing. Y'all cutthroat for real. Like y'all are sincerely cutthroat for real. So it's like you in your head, you trying to get some justice. Maybe this person did something to you while you trying to cut them off. This person did something to you. This person did something to you, but you gonna get your justice in this situation. Like, it's like, Whoever we finna <laughs> we finna figure out who this uh who this ace of cups is because um what love is you what love is you cutting off I'm trying to see what's coming out what is coming out because it's just like you trying to you trying to get justice like you trying to get justice like see about uh the page of cups the relationship that that you had in your head the it, it's like whoever this person is this first person that you your your main joint it's like you probably this is what i'm going to gather this is just literal this this is literally what i'm gathering you were in some type of dreamland about this ace of cups this main joint so we're gonna call this ace of cups the main joint okay and so it's like you were in your head you had a fantasy it was like this person was the ideal person the person that you thought hey you know what this is that ideal person this is the mother of my child the mother of or the father of my child type of man you know this is that person that gives me stability. This is the person that I wake up to every day, you know, and I have that ideal relationship with. But <laughs> now you ain't afraid to cut that off. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, it ain't nothing to cut that off. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's the energy I'm getting. It ain't nothing to cut that. Oh, mm, 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 yeah. No, I'm just playing. But for real, like, it's like you, and it's like now you, you trying to seek justice. So whoever, whoever this is, they did something to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yes. 
they like they did something to you and because you trying to seek justice on them so that just means something was done to you if you seeking justice or you getting justice so this fantasy relationship was not so fantasy and now it's like you're in pure isolation at the bottom of the deck you you running towards getting the fuck away that's the knight of swords you running towards you see and then you got that chariot card right there you know what i'm saying <clears throat> y'all i smoke so just don't even i don't want y'all thinking oh she got corona from and if i'm watching it on youtube i'm a youtube catch it mm -mm. so yes um yes y'all it's like y'all getting justice here it's like two sets of people you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just two people. And this first person, the main joint, she getting cut off and you getting justice. And it's like, it was the relationship that that you was probably happy about, but now it's like, now you trying to cut the joint off all the way. Like you just trying to cut this joint off. And it's five of pentacles. See, the Hierophant in reverse. Maybe this person didn't give you, you know what I'm saying? They didn't give you good advice. I feel like maybe this person abused their power, you know? Um, yeah, I, I feel like this person probably gave you like bad advice. You know, maybe they were giving you bad advice throughout the relationship. And like I said, if this is the main joint, you all probably spent, you know, a good, I want y'all to kind of see the cards, but you all spent like, I would feel like a good amount of time with each other, whoever this is. Like I said, this is a higher level of commitment. So the Hierophant in reverse just says that this person may have been giving you bad advice. You know what I'm saying? I get maybe this person was giving you a bad advice. Maybe this person abused their power. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they were, you know, taking, taking more from you than, than what they should have. You know, just taking advantage of something. See, you took a foolish risk dealing with whoever this person was. You shouldn't have been dealing with them in the first place, I feel like. Higher level of commitment. But like I said, Capricorns tend to hold on to relationships regardless of whether they're good or bad. It's like you all kind of hold on to them and just, it's like, it's a need to make it work. You know, it's like, I have to make this work. Like I said, much like Taurus, maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Let me just... See, we got the... Look, bro, I was literally just getting ready to shuffle this deck. And this is the same five of pentacles. This is the card I'm clarifying. You trying to get the fuck away. You trying to get the fuck away. You are trying to get the fuck away. Y'all, this is literally the five of pentacles right here. And I literally, and I was about to shuffle, but then I was like, no, cause I like to shuffle in between. And that five of pentacles. So you're in pure isolation right now. Look at that. You sad, you drooped. It's like you took a foolish ass risk with somebody who just, you, you was listening to somebody. Maybe you were listening. I think you were listening to them because, but then I don't know, in this five of Pentacles, it's multiple people. So it's like, maybe multiple people were telling you to isolate yourself from them, or maybe they were telling you to isolate yourself and you took a foolish risk doing so. And it's like, one more and and now you're unsuccessful now you're unsuccessful the world in reverse now you unsuccessful now shit just not going for you like you know what i'm saying it, it was like it wasn't a success it wasn't a success what you did this person was not a success at all they just weren't <laughs> Whoever this person, whoever this main joint was, she just was not it. He just was not it. It just was not it at all. What is this chariot? What is this chariot? Holding yourself together. Maybe you got the willpower to hold, your, hold yourself together. That's what you're doing, trying to keep it together. It's just like, let me keep it together. Let me just dis disconnect from this love. Ace of Cups, you moving towards letting it go because there's no romance there's no love it's just love ace of cups in reverse is like my love lost card 
it's like the card of love loss. It's just like, nope, we we tried and it just it just didn't work out. Like we just tried and it didn't work out. See, with this uh page of pentacles, I was trying to I was I was trying to be successful with it. I was trying to to make it happen. You know, I I wanted to be passionate about it. I wanted, but you know, Page of Pentacles. It just it's like a part of me, a part a part of me just is like no, and that heart. And see, both of these cards, both of these cards for the people that can see. This is the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, and if you can see it. It's like they're both holding something of value right in the middle of their heart. You know what I'm saying? And a page of pentacles is like getting success in a sense, you know. Um, let me see the better way to explain a page of pentacles. Where is my book at? I see what it say about the page of pentacles um it don't come with the number all right page of pentacles okay so manifestation new opportunities new beginnings good news ambition skills and training financial opportunities new career paths new connections exploration stage a bigger earth magic making plans and reality See, manifestation, trying to, you know, something of value, you know, a heart, something that you hold, you know what I'm saying? Just, it's like you're, it's it's just manifesting something new, just kind of like a, um, just like something of value, you know what I'm saying? It's like trying to just be successful at something, like gaining that, you know what I'm saying? not necessarily a skill but like maybe it's a new opportunity maybe like i said it's a new opportunity towards something or to me in this case it's just like it's just like there is no new start there it going about this reading there is no new start you know with whoever this person is and it's right next to you keeping it together and your motivation is to get away from this. Like you want a new beginning. So this right here is you manifesting, just taking off and starting a new beginning. It starts with a thought, you know what I'm saying? And if this is manifestation, it's just like, hey, I'm not manifesting a broken heart. I'm not manifesting a relationship I don't want. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you're in this maybe you're feeling like this ace of cups in reverse and it's like hey let me manifest a new beginning let me manifest a new person or a new idea or a new situation or circumstance you know what i'm saying and you just that's what you that's what that chariot is that's what you're trying to get to new beginnings just new shit new relationship maybe you know what i'm saying maybe just just new everything like a complete start over what is this sun in reverse? Okay. See, the king of swords. So I feel like this is your energy. Okay. You're 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 that person that um maybe this is you, you cool, you chill, and you just not happy, you not feeling like you, or maybe you get got advice from somebody that made you unhappy maybe you got advice from whoever this king of swords is because if this king of swords isn't you because right now this is the person who chill who you go to for advice somebody that got the answers and shit you know what i'm saying just somebody that yeah like I, I, i've experienced life I, I i know a little bit you know maybe somebody like that gave you the wrong it just ain't making you happy maybe you should have listened to this person or this could be you, you know, feeling this is you, you got it together, you, you know, you know, you cool, you chilling, like you peaceful and you unhappy, but you, you that type of person, but right now you unhappy. So I feel like 
Let's clarify this King of Swords too. See, I feel like you got bad energy from a from somebody. You just you whether it be you um you you just got bad knowledge from a nurturer, baby mama, baby daddy. Maybe this person, like I said, a higher level of commitment, or maybe this is the second person because you didn't cut cut them cut them off already. Um, this, but maybe the maybe the second person is your baby mama. Maybe the first person was the main joint, and the second was the baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Kinda kinda ordeal. You got the main joint, and then you got the baby mama. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like maybe you was messing with the main joint or you cutting off the main joint because the main joint just making you unhappy and maybe you you trying to cut off this relationship with the baby mama too you know what i'm saying wow i feel like it's somebody you trying to cut something off and then you your baby mama or your baby daddy I don't, i'm not trying to speak in reference for just the men because it's probably more women that's gonna watch this but just i'm just i'm just saying whoever it is and i'm saying for the sake of the card here whoever this person is is a nurturer so i feel like you trying to cut off two people you trying to cut off a main joint and you trying to cut off a baby mama as well because that seven of uh that ten of wands is like it's way too much baggage and it would make sense if you're trying to cut off a baby mama and a main joint you know what i'm saying that's a lot of that's that's i mean regardless of what the situation is that's a lot of energy to to deal with and you don't really know how they gonna respond you know you don't want two two dudes beefing you don't want two girls beefing like that's a lot of energy regardless of how you look at it you know what I'm saying? And right now, neither one of these people is making you happy. Neither one of these people. Let me just pull one more. See, you giving too much. You giving too much. You giving too much to your baby mama, and maybe you was giving too much to the main joint too. Well, you would have to give to the main joint anyway, but, you know, I feel like you was giving too much, maybe to the baby mama. You was probably giving more to the baby mama than the main joint. I feel like. Woo, or the baby daddy. Let's just say you, if you was a female, you was giving too much to the baby daddy. Or, you know. Because like I said up here, it looked like this was the main joint. This was the main joint. And you cut that off. But you getting justice from that situation. And then your second situation it's like you was given too much maybe maybe that's why well no that wouldn't be a reason why you cut it off with the main joint but i'm just thinking like you just probably um like you yeah you it's like you giving too much you was giving too much to somebody uh one more card let me see see you was giving too much and whatever it was didn't go in your favor so you was probably yeah it didn't go in your favor this person was taking too much so what is this ten of wands see you protecting your money four of pentacles you you saving something and i feel like this is your money because if this is if this is baby mama that this this is sound like a whole bunch of baby mama baby daddy drama to me like you, it's too much weighing on you, too much. What is the chances? And this is the saving card. Either you saving your money or you holding on to something that's maybe you saving your money against this person or you protecting, you holding on. Maybe you holding on to this person and it's causing this. You holding on to this person is causing this struggle or maybe but it said this nine of cups in reverse so you giving too much so i feel like this is just you probably giving too much money to the baby mama and it's and and it's weighing too it's too heavy of a burden on you or you giving too much mom money to the baby daddy and it's just it's too much weighing on you or maybe you or you you holding on to something it's either you holding on to your money because 
his baggage. You know, it just, to me, it's like, to me, it's like, it's like a burden for you. Why is it a burden? Because you trying to hold on to your money or it's like you either trying to hold on to your money or you was given too much money and saving, save saving your money then wasn't going to put you in this situation i feel like you was given too much money you was either given too much money you was given too much money or you saving it four swords or maybe it wasn't even money maybe it was you was given too much of yourself given too much because pinnacles is something of value, meaning something of value, whether it be money, whether it be something material. And it could also be like given of feelings or emotions. So in this case, this is a card of needing to rest. You know what I'm saying? You probably, in this case, you probably given too much energy and you really need to rest. Like, see, temperance. It's like you overindulging in something. And it's like you finding other things to get into so that you don't have to deal with not none of this. It's like, I need to rest. I need to relax. I also need to overindulge. I also need to get into something else that I don't need no business, you know? See? Ten of cups. You're not happy, so you overindulging. You need to disconnect from this. And see, this is more or less a family situation. So it would make sense if this was baby mama or baby daddy. And this is a relationship you already don't want or you're not in. But you still, in a sense, have to go towards it. But it don't help you. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you need to make some, some changes. You know, maybe you need to add some type of boundary to this relationship because we have the Ten of Cups here. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, caps. Y'all be taking on some shit, don't y'all? <laughs> y'all sincerely do be taking on some shit, don't y'all? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. What is this seven of wands? See? Deception. Deception. There is some deception taking place, and it's either you or that person that king of wands that person was probably deceptive or maybe you were playing a role of this king of wands and you were deceptive now that you've been found out now it's defensive because you got two two whole scenarios here two girls two guys and you either got caught or it was just a chain reaction one situation happened and another either way you played a role in this. See, you got this king of swords. You ran towards something and it puts you at fear at night. You ran towards something that you really weren't supposed to. You ran towards something that you weren't supposed to. You were deceptive or they were deceptive and whatever it caused fear and anxiety. But this reading is for you. Like you ran towards something and it, it probably gave you fear and anxiety doing it probably made you just con extra concern in your head like i said swords is a card of thoughts so what is this emperor see three of cups energy what did i tell you a collaboration it's like it's like now you defensive against all both situations. We got three of cups in reverse. So this is like a collaboration you no longer want to be a part of. You got the emperor here. You got the baby mama here. You got the main joint here. I think the emperor is still maybe this baby mama. 
You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, the relationship that you, you can have a relationship with a main joint, but the main joint ain't not, ain't never really going to be nothing like the baby mama. You and the baby mama or you and the baby daddy are always going to have a particular type of bond. And it's because there is a child involved. So the main joint is, is really not like you not as priority as this set of the second baby mama baby daddy situation like you're not this priority you know what i'm saying so this relationship has to do with kids or it's something stronger with this second person there's some type of bond there you know and there's three of pentacles see we got the seven of swords again like you may and this is the card of competition you trying to get away from the competition and you trying to get get to what really makes you happy which is that your pinnacles you trying to get to the real value you trying to cut off all of these situations to get to your money you trying to cut all of these situations to ooh ooh you trying to cut all of these people out to get to your knight of cups <sighs> capricorn what is y'all doing? It's like, oh, so you trying to cut these situations. It's like you trying to, it's like you trying to clean house. It's like, let me get all of this trash, dirt, all of the shit up out my house. And let me just reclean my house with something new. Ooh, Capricorn. Let me find out. Huh? Look. Six of Pentacles, you trying to give, <laughs> look, you trying to give it all to somebody else. And it's crazy because I didn't see that Three of Swords come out at all. Did I? No. We got the Three of Cups. I didn't see that third party energy, but it's because it came out in a different way. You trying to get them Pentacles, you trying to get that money, you trying to get a little bit at a time, you know, to this Knight of Cups. So now I can, I can see the stress level now. Shit, it's like I'm trying to clear out all of this because I'm trying to start fresh. Where is it at? Where is it at? That page of pentacles. You trying to cut out all of this. Look at that. You trying to cut out all of this. That's crazy. Capricorn, y'all got too much going on. Like, I got too much going on. One more card to close this out. Because I see what's going on. Capricorn. What y'all got going on? Oh, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Capricorn, what's going on? Yes. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. One more to close this out. See, use discernment. Use discernment. Maybe this person, this last person is a good judgment. Maybe they're a good judgment call. Maybe they're a good judgment call. Last card is judgment. Look that and it look and look at how pretty this card is. Like, look at the soul. You know, that soul is coming out like, what? What is this? Free my soul. Free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. You know, if y'all know that song, Capricorns, y'all probably know that song. <laughs> but look at that card. It's like, I want you to see into my soul, like soul connection. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe that last one is a soul connection. Maybe that last one is, you know, the person you're supposed to give it all to. Maybe you're going to see your soul through this person. Who knows? Egg slut. <laughs> I love that. Like in this place, this sandwich was really good. And the sandwich that I had, y'all, when I was in um, California, it was it was some soft bread too. It was like super good. I don't know what it was, but it was soft bread. It was eggs. It was cheese. 
and the eggs had not pieces of cilantro, but it just had like this, just, it wasn't spinach. It just had this, I don't really know what to call it, but it was just mixed with some type of, it was really good. It was like eggs, cheese, and the the eggs was scrambled with, I think, it, it was like jalapeno, I think is what it was. I think it was jalapeno, but the bread was super soft. And then I think it might have had like some type of sauce on it, maybe. I'm not sure. But the bread was so good. This is the place we went to. Shout out to Egg Slut. Um, this place was so good. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Okay. But let's go ahead and read your little insert, Capricorn, because y'all are a little, the little goats. A force to be motherfucking reckoned with. Like, do not play with y'all, for real. Let's see. Hmm. Here we go. Landed right on you. First page. Okay. Capricorn, December 23rd to January 20, planet Saturn, symbol the goat. Okay. Gender, feminine, element, earth, quality, cardinal, like I had said earlier. Capricorn is a feminine earth sign, which denotes practicality, common sense, and attention to details. It is also a cardinal sign, which means these people can't be pushed around or made to do anything they don't want to do. They don't rush into things, but they have a tendency to get what they want in the long run. When Capricorn set their caps at someone and decide this is the person they want, they will wait half a lifetime if that's what it takes to get that person for themselves. And you know, that's crazy because that is literally how the Taurus and Virgo energy are. The earth sign energy is like, and I heard that with Taurus, like Taurus people are somewhat the same way. Like if it means waiting a lifetime to get the right moment with somebody, that's what they're going to do. So you might be messing with a Taurus, you know? They often choose older partners, and sometimes there is a surprisingly larger age gap, but these partners, and sometimes, oh, these partners often feel comfortable with people who are older than they are. All Capricorns are ambitious in one way or another, if not for themselves, then for their children. They see it that their children receive the best education, make the best of their opportunities. Being practical, sensible, realistic, and responsible, Capricorns take life quality seriously. And when you remember earlier, I was saying you all are more serious, but that doesn't make them humorless or dull. They can also have a wonderful, dry sense of humor, which is what I love most about them. <laughs> Some are happy to remain single, possibly, possibly due to shyness and awkwardness with love interests, but perhaps because they end up staying with their partners and looking after them in the later life. When they get into a relationship, they take it very seriously indeed and bend heaven and earth to make it work. Capricorns can be fussy and can worry over nothing and take offense over nothing and they can alienate people by their pricky attitude. Some may allow their ambition to sweep them over their edge into dubious practices, but most tread to straight and narrow paths. Career choices can lead almost anywhere, but business of any kind attracts them with accountancy and banking high on the list. I told y'all, y'all be into them financials, so it's all about that money. All about that money. Many long to own land, so farming and property development can appeal to them. Traditional astrology suggests that science in all its forms is attached to the signs. Sitting between the two most unconventional signs of the zodiac, Sagittarius and Aquarius, can rub off on this sign. I think Aquarius in more of the creative aspect and Sagittarius as far as the moving around, because Capricorn people can move around. Like, Sagittarius are the adventurers of the zodiac and they're also the protectors. So Capricorns, like a feminine nurturing sign, can be very protecting and move around a lot. As Aquarius, you all are very creative. You all can dress really, really well. 
And that's one thing I love about Capricorn people. They can dress. They generally tend to dress very, very well. Like they don't miss a beat when it comes to fashion sense and things like that. Like, and they make well, I feel like in the fashion industry, more business. Yes. But fashion wise as a hobby, they definitely do. Okay. Um, many are keen on astrology, palmistry, um, psychism, mystic, mystical matters and surprisingly many are good dancers some are experts on antiques and knowledge stamp collections great cooks or winners at some oddball sport yeah you all are generally into something just like different capricorns are patient realistic and responsible and they take life seriously so they need security but may find this difficult to achieve Many live on a treadmill of work simply to pay the bills, but their ambitions are longing for status, makes them climb the ladder of success one way or another. Some marry into class, money or power, broker world. Money, power, or the, wait. Some marry into class, money, or the power broker world. When these subjects run their own business, they need partners who can deal with the sales and marketing for them while they keep their eye on the books. Their nitpicking habits can infuriate others and some have a tendency to know best. Capricorns are faithful and reliable in relationships and it takes a deal to make them stray. So if a relationship breaks up, they take a long time to get over it. Okay, last thing, Cap Cap comic Cap uh, common Capricorn attributes. Many Capricorns are slim and good looking with lovely hair. And you know what? I will say Capricorns always like Virgo in a sense, like their fellow earth sign. Virgos love, and I'm Virgo moon, so I, I kind of know, like I love to pamper myself in a sense, like every now and then, like I'm not a constant, I'm not one of those every two weeks people but I love to pamper myself and I do frequently pamper myself. So like my feet, I'll have my feet done. I'll have like my nails done. You know what I mean? And I don't always like, I'll come on here with a half nail and, and three bitten off, you know what I'm saying? But then I'll go and I'll get it done. But I love to pamper myself. And one thing I do know about Capricorns, they will pamper themselves you know they will go they're the people that I gotta get my hair done every two weeks I gotta get my hair cut every two weeks like once I get tired of it I'm switching it up I'm going back to get my hair cut or I'm going back to get my hair done you know one or the other so I do know that a lot of times they gen generally tend to like I said love taking pictures kind of love that status love being in a light the limelight you know what I'm saying that's just and when you, and it just seems like the people that have money, which like I said, I don't know a Capricorn that don't have money. And it's funny because I know a guy Capricorn who he has multiple, multiple businesses, like multiple businesses. And it's crazy to me how somebody, and he's very young, you know, somebody that's crazy. Now that I think about it, it's just like, I know, yeah, I know this guy who, who he has like many many businesses and it's just so crazy and i have a feminine you know aspect and she's very money motivated she keeps her kids like spot on and i know a couple other you know capricorns that love to keep fashion one thing i do know about them is fashion like fashion 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 and they're very very crafty they're just like very witty they do have a dry sense of humor but they're very very funny like they're they're kind of like the humor that i think when i think of them is like the big bang theory type of humor like you know what i'm saying or what's that show um the 70s show like the 70s show to me is like their type of humor you know what i'm saying i just i love it it's so dry but it's like <laughs> it's interesting at the same time but yeah it just seems like you trying to cut off multiple relationships whether you're a guy or a girl you're just trying to cut off all of these relationships loving yourself first Ooh, you're you're cutting off all of these negative vibes you loving yourself and it's like you going towards new beginnings and it looks like a new person 
because we had that Knight of Cups all the way at the bottom, secluded from every, all of this drama. You got the seclusion right here in this Three of Pentacles. And see, you probably looking like, look, I don't want this person to be in my competition. This person don't need to be competition. You know what I'm saying? The Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is teamwork. This is competition. Hey, get it? So you, and it's like, nah, I don't want this person to be my competition. I don't want this person. You know, this person is separate from all of this, from what I see. And it's like, you got to cut off all of this before you get to this. So final remarks. Okay, we don't do church over here, but I do give some truth. So Capricorn, you all have this way of and i'm gonna just be honest because i have certain like i said capricorn traits myself and i be knowing what i'm talking about you know i'm literally guided here and if this touches somebody you'll know that it ain't no bs okay you know there's not no bs you know it's not no bs i'm a spiritual therapist you know and I was literally guided here just to inform you, give you some high vibrational information. High vibrational information may not be information you always want to hear, but it'll put you in a place to where you can vibrate on a more appropriate level is what I'm trying to get after. So what I'm saying to you is that, you know, you all are going to have to find some type of way of letting go of negativity, getting out of old habits, like you all are very traditional. So you all tend to get a habit regardless of whether it's good or negative, And you just kind of stick with it because you're traditional. You like things freak. It's not, it's not like you like things frequent, but it's like you like things in order all the time. It's like, if you live a particular type of way, that's it. This is how I live. I don't live any other way. If every Tuesday I eat, you know, here, this is what I do every Tuesday. This is my ritual. Every day I do this. Every day I do that. And it's like sometimes that's good, but sometimes you need to find something else. And maybe this is that something else. See, you're so used to this and this and all of this is the same. You know, you got this joint up here, you got the main joint, you got the side main joint, you know, whatever. And whether, again, girl or guy, and you know what I'm saying? It's like you need to clear all of that just to get here. And the answers you need are right here in your thought process, Capricorn. So, yes, I just want to tell y'all that you all are still super cool, super dope. I super appreciate your work ethic. You all are amazing people and you all are go hard people, and you all will fight for somebody and fight somebody. You know what I'm saying? You all will fight for somebody and fight somebody. So yes, Capricorn, I love you guys so very much. And I just hope that you all clear up whatever negative energy. And then yes, do move on to calmer waters because you deserve it as well. So all right, Capricorn, make sure you all give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If this is you, leave me a comment, okay? If this is so, leave me a comment, let me know. <laughs> Until then, I'm out.